Hey guys, this is Sarah with Insuraba TV. Today we'll be making peanut soup. So you're going to use meat of your choice. I'm using some goat meat and some pig feet. So when I cook, I'm just showing you how I cook. You can cook with ingredients and meat of your choice. So we're going to steam our meat to about 75% meat tender. I'm going to put some diced onions and garlic on the meat. I use two large onions and a whole garlic because I like my food very spicy, very nutritious. So I use a lot of veggies in my, in my food. Here I'm going to cook my veggies that I'm going to use for the soup. I try to eat veggies every day, so as much as I can, I put veggies in almost everything I eat. So for the peanuts, so these are the veggies that we're going to add. Carrots, tomatoes, onions, pepper, anything that you can think of that you think is going to taste good in the soup, just add it. So I have some rosemary and i'm going to add some bay leaves to the meat as well because we want the base of the soup to smell and taste very delicious whatever season you use to start your soup is what's going to carry the, the soup to the end so you make sure your meat is well seasoned well salted because when the soup is done you don't want to be adding any more salt whilst eating. So we're going to add some basil to the meat and we're cooking this meat to 75% cooked before we add everything else. Now mind you your veggies will be cooked already. So you want the, the meat halfway cooked so when you add your cooked veggies and your peanut it will be almost ready to serve. So here I'm going to add some ginger, blended ginger that I have sitting in the freezer. I did two tablespoons full of ginger. You know ginger is healthy for you. So we, since it's cooking, our meat is still cooking, I'm going to add some chicken bouillon into the meat. I don't have any more beef, so this is the season I'm going to add. Um, I don't normally cook with salt, and that's why you see me using so many seasons. Um, I hardly use salt in my food. So here I'm just making sure the salt is enough for the meat. Also your peanut, depending on what kind of peanut you're using. If it's canned or bottled peanut, it will have salt in it. So you have to go easy on your salt. Now the veggies are done or cooked. I'm going to blend them so I can put them onto the meat. At this time the meat has been cooking for about 15 20 minutes because goat meat is very tough as well as the cookie so it's been taking about 15 20 minutes and of course i don't use a pressure cooker so it takes a little longer to cook so that's the meat it's about 75 percent cooked and we're still going to be cooking it some more so you don't want it all the way tender so this is the blended veggies, the tomatoes, onions, carrots, pepper, 
that we had cooked separately. And of course, depending on how much soup you're making, you just want to put add some water into it. So this is the soup with the tomatoes cooking. Now, if you were cooking light soup, then of course this would have been all you making or the method that you're using. But since we're doing peanut soup, we're going to add our peanut, and this is the kind I use. It's supposed to be the natural kind of peanut. Of course, this is the brand I use because I love the taste of it and it's very creamy, less salt and less preservatives in it. So of course we're going to add our peanut into it. I did have one jar already open so I'm going to empty that jar before I add some more. Um, normally I add about five to six tablespoons depending on the size of the meat. I'm sorry, size of the pot I'm making the soup in. So that's my first bottle, I had just the bottom of the uh, bottle, so I'm just going to empty it, then add some more onto it. And if you're allergic to peanut, then of course this wouldn't be the soup for you. You can still make the soup without the peanut. And I know some people like to see their veggies in the soup. That's okay as well. Here we're making peanut soup. So this is how we're going to make it. So this is the new jar that I just opened. And as you can see, I fill my spoon up very much. Now, depending on how much peanut you use, your soup may become very thick. So, of course, you don't want to overuse the peanut unless you want a thick peanut soup. But here, I have added four tablespoons full of peanut because my pot it was a very large pot I like to cook so I can have some leftovers for the next day or something to eat during the week so I always make sure I'm cooking enough for the day and some leftovers remaining after that so if you're making a small soup then of course you need to cut down on your peanut mm -hmm. so we've added a peanut of course this is how it looks like it says stay at the bottom to make sure the peanut is not sticking because you don't want the bottom of the soup to burn and this is going to give and then you know a better taste to your soup so you want to stay at the bottom after you add your peanut to make sure it's not sticking then of course you can cover it for it to cook for the rest of the meat to cook your veggies everything to cook So if you see the oil coming on top, then you know your soup is getting done. You want to make sure the top, your oil is at the top. Well, you don't have to keep stirring it like I did here in the video, but just wanted to make sure the bottom is not sticking. So this is the top. You want to make sure there is no white. And of course the oil is on top so we had our fufu sitting resting waiting for the soup this is the food plantain fufu that i made if you don't know how to make or you want to see how i made the fufu i do have a video one of my videos shows how i make my fufu 
so bon appetit y'all yeah, this wasn't hard to make at all just make it to taste good thank you for watching i hope you've subscribed if you want to share i will appreciate it see you next time